Hey everybody, Ryan here, the world's strongest pro bodybuilder, back with another episode of Meals in a Mint. Got my fancy, uh, if you can't be a beauty, better be a beast t-shirt on today, available at standhamperting.com. And as always, we're sponsored by The Cooler, the world's only cooler. Holds a gallon of ice water and keeps your pre and post workout drinks all inside one ice cold container. Today's another one of my favorites. Nothing's better than a good burrito. And I love to go to a place here in Vegas called Cafe Rio, one of my favorites. But sometimes I like to do that at home, and I've got a great steak for that. This is called a flap steak. It's kind of like a skirt steak. It's a steak that's made for fajitas. I get mine at Costco. Again, it tastes a hundred times better if you get good quality meats at Costco. So I'm gonna cook some of this up today. I'll show you how I do it to make it taste excellent. All right, first, I lay out my steak and I put a medium grain salt on it. This one here, I just got off of Amazon. It's a Hawaiian sea salt. You can just Google Hawaiian sea salt Amazon and that one will pop up. So I salt this with a medium grain salt and then I let it sit for 10 minutes. Now we've let them sit in the salt for about 10 minutes. I'm gonna pop them on the grill. The nice thing about letting these sit and using this flank steak is that it doesn't stick to the grill. I'll grill these for four minutes on each side. After about four minutes, I like to flip this steak, and as you'll notice, it doesn't stick to the grill. It's the easy thing about flank steak and salting it real well first. Probably only need about three more minutes on this side and it'll be done. All right, now the three minutes is up. It's time to take them off the grill. And I like to lightly cover them, loosely cover them, for another 10 minutes. When they're all done, and they'll taste better when I eat them. All right, the steak's finished. Now we just dice this up, just like you're doing a fajita steak. And this is excellent with uh, steak and rice, or you can make a burrito out of it. I'm gonna show you how I do that next. There you have it. Look how moist that is. I wish we had smell-o-vision. This is such a tender steak. And what I'll do is I'll take some of that steak and I'll plate that up with some rice, just steamed rice. What I did is I cooked this rice in chicken stock, so the flavor's outstanding. And I'll just blend these together. And that's one way to eat it up. Now the burrito, let's add on the uh, fajita and the cheese. Now to make a burrito, I like to use this flat bread. I get this at Whole Foods Market. It's just flour, water, and sea salt. It doesn't have any of those oils in it. I'll take some butter in a hot pan. And then I'll cook that flat bread in that butter. Just one side, so it stays soft enough that I can still roll in my burrito. Okay, now that's nicely cooked. Look at that, that's beautiful. We'll take that over, plate up some steak. Throw some steak on there. Add some cheese. A Little bit of rice. and you've got a burrito. It's a beautiful thing. And there you have it, another Rhino's Meals in a Minute.